to Meet the Juggler's Life. And today we have Bash all the way from uh, from France. And um, and yet Bash has a very, very special style of juggling with clubs, very clean, very uh, crispy, very um, uh, delicate, very researched um almost or in some ways we could almost say that you embody like a french style somehow you know there's lots of jugglers that that uh, that work in a way but uh but definitely you you you, you have been inspired by and you obviously inspire lots of people and um with your particular style and uh just interested in how you started out and um and how you got interested in, in the work you're doing right now Oh, so hello first of all, hello Bash, how are you? <laughs> hello, hello everybody. So my nickname is Bash, stage name and so. And I'm from France. I'm uh, 35 years old, juggler. And um, I started like it's really simple. It was a long time ago now, I think like 97. My cousin offered me a Diablo for Christmas. And at the time in France was kind of a fashion. And my neighborhood, I have two friends who did Diablo a lot. So mm. I started into it. And after like maybe what, like three, four months, my Diablo break. So I went to a circus shop. And I have seen, oh, it's not only Diablo, there is like balls and, oh, what is that? Clubs and, so I decided to ask my mom if I could get it. So we get it. <laughs> and I started myself uh, in my bedroom, uh, on my bed. And uh, after that, I think I never stopped. Always into juggling. Wow. And uh, yeah, that's easy as it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's, it's um, everybody has their own story, particular story with juggling. And it's like when it, when it, um, when we, when we, when we um, discover it and we love it, it, um, it becomes a very important part of our, part of our lives. No? And, uh, and, um, but how, this was when you were 12 or something like this. I yes. Quick, yeah. Good, good, yeah, good thank you. <laughs> and um, so, we're gonna we're anyway very interested in what you're working on now what your research is is about now but uh we're partic i'm particularly interested in in um in hearing your on how you think about juggling now how, how do you think about throws and catches and, and making shapes and and uh and and also your um your your very very precise clean work you do you know really uh very with these very nice like flows going going through the air and uh, so um, I think I'm like every juggler like when you juggle for a long time you have discovered loads of area in juggling and after a bit you just focus on some point you are really interested in and I've been always interested in shape making shape and um, so I started to make triangles, waves, things like that. And um, I'm interested also in making movements and not be a static juggler. Uh, I like to move and uh, to express myself with my clubs. It's like a language. And uh, I love also reading. And I, I think it's almost five years now. I'm always improvise i mean I, I i can't spend more than 20 minutes on one trick i i can't do that i'm always listening to music and uh, i'm just enjoying my juggling and find a new shape a new movement and I'm, i like it i repeat it sometimes and after i go directly to something else just because i i, I love the way it goes um you know that moment when you reach serenity like a uh, peace peaceful time in yourself mm. and uh, you just yeah don't think about anything else and just making shapes and making <laughs> movement 
that's great yeah 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 in in the flow i would say yeah there's many different ways of trading uh, and um i grasp what you're saying that um that you're more into what what is attracted you in that moment you know what you're interested in and when it when it when you're not interested anymore you move on to something else and i find this a very also a bit more of a softer way of working um we were talking with um Ariane the other day and she's much more um she works she blasts through the point of boredom until it opens up a bit more you know and um like you i i tend to train practice play um just for fun now you know but when you really blast through something and i'm sure you blast you through things because there, there's no way you can do some of the tricks you do unless you really like hit them on the head you know and um this was just i just wanted to share this, this was all. <laughs> so um um let's just go into it a little bit then and uh let talk a little bit about these curvy moves and like uh and uh I know, I know you have a special way of working with these with these curvy uh, club throws. Yeah, it's that, my that uh, main focus right now in my uh, I'm working on a new act. Uh, I just released a trailer recently with the Moonstone. And, yeah. Uh, it's about uh, crystallization of a shape. It's like about curves like that who go into something like solid and it's broken. And it go to something else, and uh, it's all about this curvy movement, and uh, how to move it into something like strong, like solid, and angles, mm -hmm. and like uh, straight. And after you can go slowly, there's something can move more, like more like a snake, like a sh like a like a wave. And uh, so this curvy movement, I started to work long time ago. I think it was in Catacomben, like the old Catacomben in Berlin for people who knows, um, with Stefan and uh, all the team there. And uh, at the beginning, we started with the mismes, it was uh, the infinite mismes, we call it, it's like making uh, the eight, infinite eight, like that. And I can show you with clubs after that. And um, so, I started to discover some new moves, and recently I was into some really hard move, but I really enjoy the visual. Also because it will be uh, with, uh, you will be performed with Glow Club, or clubs. And so it will be really important to keep a nice shape, you know, because the body disappear and mm. it's, only the lights who make the shape, so you have to be clean. So I'm really focused on that. So I'm working in front of a mirror and I try to make the nice, you know, the nice curves and uh, to see how it goes. So in your training space, you have a mirror there. That's good. Uh, it's not really a mirror, <laughs> it's just window, oh, and with the dark, I can't see myself. That's it. <laughs> yeah, sure, I got you. I got you. There's windows everywhere here, right? <laughs> Excellent. So, do you, do you want me to show you, maybe? Yeah, like, let's, yeah, yeah, let's go into it. Yeah, yeah, I know you've got lots of things to uh, show us. So, if yeah. anybody watching this live now has any questions, please uh, pop them in. <laughs> Still vain. Yeah. It's Christmas time. Yeah, I, I love your Christmas ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. The beginning, was, the beginning was that, this movement. <clears throat> you can see it make the eight. Yeah. So after that, I had this like three. Yeah. And after I discovered that it can be nice to do it with profile view, like that one, and you go more into curve, like that. Right? So that was the, the beginning of the research about curves. And yeah. recently I discovered a very nice thing is so that. Oh, wait. So here, 
if you turn your wrists at the moment, at the good moment, like here, you can follow the movement and create a nice shape without turning. And after you can go behind your head, so you can make infinite movement. And of course, you can move around like that. And after you can, of course, change. So that was the beginning of the research. And now I'm working on some like new movement, like really hard. So I will start by the hard movement, actually. So it's more about, so first, oh yeah, important. I was working on the shape. So this is the shape it works about, you know, that kind of movement or that movement. Yeah. So I was working on that one. It's like, if you draw a circle in the air, Oh, uh, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could see it. <laughs> okay. And yeah. also, I was working on that one. It's like, I'll show you the Shabala. No, it's not curvy, that one. Like, this is the Shabala. It's a trick I can talk about later. And now I try to do it with the curvy movement, so it's like that. Wow. So it's uh, it's in process. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah. Before, before it started the live, you talk you talk about the back crosses. It's like from yes. Alexander. Alexander did this nice movement. So the idea is to throw that way. Yeah. And, uh, the clubs will draw the circle. So it's the same idea of doing that, right? Yeah. But you will be like that. So the idea is to catch here, you go down, and after you throw. And there is something important about curvy movement, and it's important if you want to do it well. It's like a balance. When you do a balance, you have like straight balance, like back, or you yeah. have like a time when you follow the club, you know, like a small moment. It's the same with curvy. You have to be like a bit up to follow, because otherwise it will be like back, back. Yeah. If you go a little bit higher and you follow the club at the same time, it make it more fluent. It's like you gain, you, you, you win fluidity in the movement. So that's my research at the moment. Yeah, no, 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 it's, it, it looks like they're floating around, you know, it gives this very nice uh, idea. So, um, so what is it? You know, it's like, a, what, what is the game then? What is, you know, it's like, a, I, I like to go in, talk about this, you know, like finding the game and it looks like you found the game, right? And some people for them, it's finding the game is to go for ever more difficult, you know, and that's also a game, you know, because you're in this thing where you try and make things ever, ever more difficult. So is it um, just to make things that nobody's ever done before? You know, that's also a game, you know, or is it for you... Uh, just trying to work out how the possibilities of this thing, you know, just try, trying to understand what's behind uh, your uh, your motivation here. Uh, about curly stuff, you mean? Because yeah. for me, the, the game here is to find the most, um, how I can say that, um, the most variant, the most different kind of tricks uh, to keep like a flow, but still stay in curvy style. Um, and the idea behind here is to make like a climax with stopping the shape, like going about from here and, and you stop and you make a shape and it make a climax because it was always in movement before and at the moment you stop and you make like something more, less curvy, it's like the opposite. You know, you have curvy and you have like angles 
and it's the, the idea is that is to go to something fluid to something straight and the opposite yeah no there's definitely a very strong aesthetic um aspect to this and also the video videos you make and you share on instagram you know they're all, always in these like amazing settings you know <laughs> and uh very aesthetic and uh are they tell, tell us something a bit about that about these settings there as well so first i live in a really nice area in france in the french alps called uh Talois. it's close to Annecy, and uh Annecy is a really beautiful city um it's called uh, the nickname of the town is uh, venice from the Alps, and oh. um so there is a big lake and actually the first video i did with nice background like that was training and what training is in my garden and so i have the it's really easy for me i just have to walk 15 minutes from my house and i'm to a place where it's beautiful and i just have to set a nice you know like point of view with a lake or mountain and i just have to juggle for like you know like 20 minutes i improvise i found something interesting and after yeah it's i like it i share it and i like yeah command feedback and to improve my building yeah excellent excellent so, um, i mean it's it's sorry. not that I don't have to to drive like one hour to go somewhere to do the video. You know, it's like really easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, are you lucky to live in such a beautiful place? Then excellent. Mm. Yeah, that's so, super nice. Let's, um, so we've talked about curvy things, and um, perhaps um, well, you you could talk about whatever you like, and let's say about different throws now. But especially like the flat throws, they're always very interesting, you know. And they've been and. Um, I think you've taken them. You've you've gone quite deep into flat throws as well, and um, you know um, even like the the one where they're all going around you like this. You know, it's hard, much harder than it seems. You know, and perhaps you have some tips on some of these uh, flat throws for people. You mean the giant, like when? We <laughs> yeah, the giant. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know it was called the giant, but let's call it the giant. We made we made a show with two friends called Aeol, and it's only about that kind of movement. So oh, yeah. you know, it's kind of, I'm not fed up with it, but almost. <laughs> it's yeah, like, no, sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. It's the same, same okay, game as you like. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can, I can show some. Yeah, before you get fed up with it, share it with us, and then uh, get fed up with it. <laughs> but I understand. Yeah, yeah. it's very interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's just one of one movement really interesting to learn is it's like we call it the fake four. It's like that movement because it's like when you want to start a movement, you can throw directly in the pattern. Like, wait, I have a problem with the camera, no? I think it's no, yeah, it's, it's like uh, looking for the light or something. That's good. Better. So the idea is to, when you want to start the movement, you can start directly like that. Instead of going from a uh, street club cascade, normal like that, and after it's hard to go and it's not really beautiful. The idea is to start directly in the pattern with a fake. So it's a three, like you, you throw like a, a flat and you have to go higher as you can. And the idea is to catch. And after it's just training, you can just train with one. And you can um, regulate your, how oh, can say that? The, um, uh, I lose my word. Uh, your accuracy, like the, your precise. Oh, precision. precision. Yes, yeah, because of. Uh, you can catch really front of you, but you can also catch behind you almost blind, and it's blind actually. So it means it will be different if you juggle like, you can go from here. So you see I can catch from here, but you can also catch really behind you, which is almost blind. And it's different, it makes a different shape. Yeah, no, actually, totally. side, Riverside is quite more beautiful because of um, 
the catch is not at the same place, it's uh, opposite. When it make it, the, the shape is better. You can make a real circle if I go for that. The shape is kind of better. Also, you can you can catch it lower. Anyway, so the shape is better to make, I think, with the reverse side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, how is your hand? How do you hold it with your hands? So the the hand are like. So it's like um, I'm just catching it normally. I mean, like. It's like a uh, normal scroll and you just turn your wrist and go up. So it's like a game of turning. It's always turning the wrist, right? It's like... Yes. It's here and I turn the wrist. So, so I'm screwing that way. Okay. I'm really bad with opposite <laughs> with the camera. So it's like... Oh yeah, right, got yeah. And after you turn, and you so it's not really complicated. It's like yeah, yeah. I'm always going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I know what you mean. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I, I, lots of people tried this out, but uh, it's so uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, yeah. You have to get into it. You know, once you're into it, you you love it. Hmm. Also, I think a, a good advice is take your time and and when I mean uh, take your time is really really take your time in when you juggle like throw high higher if you need and uh, to to let you make your full movement and uh, you have to anticipate and throw it in your back I mean like behind you. Uh, it's your, your throw because I think at the beginning one of the mistakes is you will throw like that and you will throw here. So it means yes. you have all the way to do. And if you throw it behind you, it's easier. You just do this movement. You you need less time to do it. Mm. After you can you know modulate your. It's an improvement to to understand how to throw to catch. And after, but just at the beginning, start I, and uh, let your time to catch and throw. Okay, so I'll, I'll okay. let you. Um, let's just share one more thing. Okay, like whatever you like, whatever you think is like something that uh, you're particularly interested in, and you think uh, um, that you have been or you still are really excited about. Uh, recently, uh, I. Uh, I, I work about one movement, it's kind of a devil stick movement. Mm -hmm. And uh, I call it the tea movement because it's a tea time. Because my girlfriend <laughs> and I dedicate it to her. <laughs> and it's yeah, kind of it's good, good, uh, yeah. momentum in it. So the idea it's I can't really explain because you have to start in this position. It's not an easy movement. But the idea is to use the speed of the club to make it go up. And after, you have a momentum where you will stop the clubs with the others, like a devil stick move, and so it's like that. And after, you come back. So it's like the clubs turn around. You stop it here. And after, you reverse the movement. And after, it's like just a small... Uh, the good we nothing so you can do it maybe closer it's like here the clubs go here you stop it and you come back and all this movement are really interesting to and i try like at the beginning i worked that one because it's a t i love that and after i try to do it in the shape like a, you know like in the movement Right on yes. left. Oh, I understand like, what you mean now by devil stick. Right, right, right. But my best move I found is that one. 
and it's really mm -hmm. tricky. Ready? Ah, you can see it from here. Be here. Yeah. Can you understand it or not? Just uh, not, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look, it's uh, like uh, it's going over your hands. Like a bit. So maybe if I'm like, like here, and I help the crabs sliding on my arm because it's push by my other arm. Like here, the knob is push. Ah. Oh, I love that movement. <laughs> yeah, they like somehow they look like sharks. Sharks following each other. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's loads of movement. Like <laughs> excellent. It's too many. And you do lots and lots and lots of uh, spinning moves as well with your clubs. And this one you're doing above your head that I can't even imagine. I can't even start to imagine how you do it. You know, it's like <laughs> wow. It's not that hard actually, it's called Shabala. It's, because it's like Hambal, it's the original name is Shabala. It's, uh, you know, in Hambal, when you use the ball with the goalkeeper and the ball, you just fake a shoot and you just, whoop, and the ball just go over the head of the head keeper, goalkeeper. Ah. It's like a Shabala. It's, and um, so it's, I don't know how many steps you need to, to it's about it's a spinning movement right at the beginning it's just two clubs yeah. movement so it's that right yeah so one two and uh after that you have to learn that movement with you know like i, I told you before that one that movement you have to take four so here it will be like that we want to know first, this first step. And the idea is the second, the first club you throw with your left when you have two clubs in the hand will go behind the head, right? So first step is that. And which is important is because I have many people doing it wrong is you have to use your wrist, but also the knobs will have to turn around your thumb to make it more... So back, go, go a little bit further backwards so we can see you better. Because yeah. if you do it... Yeah, like that. If you do it with uh, the wrist, it's like... It's not really... It is like, kind of... I don't know, it's, you will see. And if you use more your tongue, it's make a better movement, better shape. So Your the thumb. idea is, so one, right? And after the idea is to go from one to two, so it's one, one, two. So it will be one, and the second or will also go behind. So you have to throw before you catch the third. So it's one, you throw. So it's like one, two, you throw. So actually, you throw before you go behind the end with the second club. Like one, two. Okay? And after that, you have to go. And which is important as well is to keep um, it's kind of perspective stuff. The idea is to throw your, I don't know if you see it, the clubs don't go in the whole plane. Right. It goes in diagonal, like. Like a back cross is when you go front is not like straight. Yeah. So it's like going diagonal. It's the same here. So it will be like I don't know if you can see, but the clubs are throwing that way, like behind me. To help you to otherwise if you catch it here, you will have to go behind your head, like you know, like this movement, and it's not really pretty. But if you catch it here, it's already behind your head. So it's easier to turn. And my idea is, in these trick to be fluent, it's to keep a point, isolate a point here. So for example, I'm trying to, 
I'm staying on my left and my right. So again. I need to warm up. <laughs> no, no, but we saw it earlier. It's really beautiful. It's a really beautiful pattern, this one. Beautiful. My name is just a, a, a matter of um, trajectories. Um, really keep in mind to throw it behind your head and catch it like really behind instead of like that. Yeah. So uh, that's rather in front of your head, behind your head. Yes. Yeah. It, because it's easier, it's in the movement. When you think is that movement, you can do it without clubs. You do that. And when you are here, it's easier to catch from below or behind. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Oh well, that, we'll I have to come. To, we'll have to come to one of your workshops uh, back. Yeah, I, I need to. To uh, I think I will do a tutorial soon, maybe about that movement because <laughs> with a. Uh, I'm really bad with the camera today. With like moving, and <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. It's part of the li part of the li live experience because it's thin. They eh? on this um on this uh, yard stream. It's it's thin like this. So um, uh, uh, let, tell us a bit more about uh, your future projects. My future project. I'm working <laughs> a new show. Uh, it will be a long time production. Like two years. Will be released in uh, May two thousand twenty two. Um, in NC, uh, it's called The Light Sellers, and it's a duo act about lights. Okay, and, uh, I'm working with uh, my uh, really good friend Julian, Julian Munch. Uh, I encourage everybody to see his work, it's really nice. He had uh, an act called White Blanc in French, Blanco, and uh, it's uh, about you have sleeves is white and he's doing loads of teaching movement like that and it's really interesting um work and, and so how, really how is your friend oh, really yeah no, no i was just saying he's a really good juggler and i'm really happy to work Excellent. with him and will be What's really his name again julien munch Okay, well, um, I was finding <laughs> Julien and Munch. Okay. Uh, juggling project two, I think. Uh, I think so, um, just what, just wondering, um, how is your creative process there? I mean, you don't see yourself, you don't work on it solid for two years, right? You talk about a concept, and then you meet for two weeks or a week or a weekend, or and the, and the how how will it, is it, will it this be? So our planning is to see each other every two months or two weeks during two years. And uh, we started uh, like uh, we already did uh, six weeks of residency. And uh, at the moment, we are waiting for some new secret uh, objects for the show. We are created for the show. So we are more um researching about characters and uh, about story and how because it's really the, the limit is really thin about lights in, on stage because you can be the light and you can be lighted you know mm -hmm. like uh frontier is really thin about that and it's a uh, lot of question about it how to show the light and how the lights show you um mm -hmm. It's a really interesting process we are into it now. And uh, I think it's really good that we don't have this material, I mean, the special material now because we can focus on it. And uh, when we will have the super material, amazing material, we can go further and uh, I think it will be amazing. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent, uh, Doc. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to tell this to, to, to you and everybody there. Um, we brought out the German edition of Pearls of Juggling this year, and who knows if we'll manage to bring out also um, a French edition. Yeah, we work. We're working on a Spanish edition as well, and uh, but um, it, you know we need, need lots of help to get this uh, to get this working. You know, if we want to get it working, and people interested in it, and um, and I'll start talking about it now, and uh, who knows? Who knows? 
I think it's a really good, uh, really good idea. Uh, it's a nice book. As I told you before, I didn't read all, but I like the object already. And I read some pages, and uh, it's always interesting to share knowledge, to share juggling ideas and juggling vision. And uh, it's like kind of feed, you know, you feed uh, our mind. And um, even if you are not thinking the same, it's always good to feed yourself with different opinion and to make your own opinion. And I think mm -hmm. it's uh, so. Uh, I know some people can't read, you know, like especially in French. Uh, in France, I mean, like, uh, I think it would be a good thing if you translate it in French, <laughs> English or Spanish or, you know. Yeah, yeah, so, sure, sure. Yeah, good to do it. So, um, I don't know. I have some crazy plans every now and again, but uh, who knows? So, some part of me would like to create like a like a really long, intensive residency where I invite lots of teachers to come, you know. And if this ever works out, for sure, uh, I would lo I'd love to, you to come to Italy and, and do this. Uh, I organized uh, a kind of same event in the past for many weeks, a small event with friends who are like pro performer or just hobby juggler but with a high level and uh, we made like uh, it's kind of vacation holidays but uh, it's, uh, it's it was really really good and uh, we had a really great time to share our knowledge and uh, it's always good it's always a good part and some project came from here like hey all our my project i did with friends julian as well and alexander we did in the past uh, come from here. We started in Manpix. So every event where you meet other jugglers are uh, good to, to do. Yeah, yeah. And, and you really get to meet them. You know, like uh, the things I've organized up until now, they're, they're, you really get to meet the people. You know, you really um, amazing, amazing experiences. So. Um, I will have a, I will have a think about this and let's hear what feedback we get from people, you know, because uh, I don't want to just organize things on my own, you know, <laughs> it, needs, it needs to have like, yeah, let's do this thing, you know, they need this enthusiasm thing. So, um, um, Mr. Buck, have you got anything you'd like to close our conversation with? Oh, I always ask this to people. I always ask this to people, so I'll ask you this as well. Any advice that you would have given to yourself 15 years ago, let's say? You know things you know now that you didn't know then. Don't give up. <laughs> no, I never. No, I mean like uh, I think life is life, and uh, you have to you have to go into you know like problems and uh, bad things to to keep the good, and it's you have to live your life and. Um, I wouldn't have been different. I mean, like, uh, of course, you can imagine yourself younger being different, but I wouldn't be here like I, as I am now. So, I mean, sure. it's just just enjoy the present moment, and uh, being in the present moment is the best things to do. Yeah, excellent. I think we can we can close the broadcast uh, with this excellent wisdom. So thanks everybody for joining us. Um, we'll carry on next week. Next yeah. week, uh, John Udry will be coming along. We're talking a bit more about comedy and also about he does lots of tricks that are really physically demanding, almost like fitness. <laughs> and that's uh, like going to a whole other world, you know. And uh, I've been really enjoying this series because, like, really everybody that comes on has their has their thing to bring, you know. And it like uh, it's just ideas and fun and um, and yeah. So. Uh, Say goodbye. Thank you, everybody. So we're going to end the broadcast right now. Ciao. Thank you.